If you ever have an unexpected shutdown while using Quilter's Creative Touch, there's no need to remove your stitches or start over, even if you didn't mark your quilting zones. QCT has a few built-in tools that will let you resume sewing right where you left off. Take the following steps to correctly position the needle and resume your zone. Make sure your machine is powered up. Restart QCT5 on your tablet and tap the Panagraph button. Set your safe area. Tap the ruler button and move your machine to the top left corner of the zone that was interrupted. This will be the point at which the top of the stitching meets the left edge. Tap the left ruler button at the bottom of the screen. Move the machine straight across to the right edge of the stitching and tap the right ruler button. Tap on the center button to move the machine to the center of the quilt. Mark the quilt for future reference directly under the hopping foot. Use the single stitch button on the sewing machine handlebar to make a hole in the tape. Tap on the red X to navigate back to the main screen. Tap the Resume Zone Sewing Session at the top of the screen. Find and open your zone project file. Make sure the needle is positioned directly over the tape mark and press the center placement button, the one with the green rectangle and the yellow dot. Once the pattern is placed, move the machine close to the point at which your pattern was interrupted. Tap Repair Pattern, then tap Closest Stitch. To ensure QCT is correctly aligned with the existing line of stitching, tap Trace Back and watch the hopping foot closely to see if it follows the stitching line. If it is not exact, tap Stop, and then use the nudge buttons to adjust the position of the machine. Tap the Trace minus one and Trace plus one buttons to see if the machine is better positioned. Continue using these buttons along with the nudge buttons until the machine is exactly aligned with the stitching line. Once you can see that the machine is perfectly aligned, use the trace buttons to move it to the last stitch where your zone was interrupted. The blue highlighted portions on the screen indicate what has already been sewn. If QCT is highlighting the part of the zone that hasn't been stitched yet, tap the trace minus one or trace plus one button to change the highlighting. Tap sew. 